What's going on everybody? Welcome back to part two of this DIY front skid plate fabrication. Without further ado, let's get to it. So one of the things that I decided to do with these wings, you know, even though they're separate, when I go to bolt them onto the skid plate, they would still be really hard to, to reach around there and secure a, a nut on the back side. So what I decided to do was go ahead and weld the nuts in place. I decided to just go with three. <laughs> see there and yeah I decided to do that because now all I got to do is is um, once I once I match them up with the skid plate like so and, and then drill the holes to match those uh, nut placements well then it's then it's easy man because when I, I can put them on and take them off just with my impact wrench or a, or a, a screw gun and just zing, 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 and that's it. And they're attached and bolted down. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. I'm gonna be working on getting the skid plate drilled to match these. Also, I've already started on the design and cutout. I don't know if you can see those white lines that have been drawn in here. You know, I, I, I drilled it obviously and then with my uh angle grinder with the cutting wheel i'm just cutting down to meet up with those drill holes and uh i'm sure it's gonna look great when it's all painted and done and everything um but most importantly just dropping some of that weight you know like i talked before so anyway that's what i'm gonna do today um also this weekend i'm gonna work out uh the design that I'm going to use as far as cutting some of that material away on that front skid plate. Um, once I do all that and get everything bolted and then final fitted uh, to the truck, then I'll drop it back down and it'll be time to um, take some acetone and wipe it all down, get it primed, painted, and coated. And we should have a final product and this will finally be done. It's taken a lot more long. It's taken a lot longer than I thought it would because I don't know what I'm doing. So I have to stumble through and all the measurements have to be precise and mistakes have to be fixed and all of that. So anyway, all right, let's get to this. Okay, so the first wing is finished as far as cutouts go. I've still got to grind them down and smooth them out and all that good stuff, but this kind of gave you an idea of what we're working with for the design. Okay, I'm gonna grind it out, get it all smoothed out. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair it up with the other one, which doesn't have anything done. And I'm just gonna trace where those go so that they're evenly matched up. Okay, so one of the things I'm gonna do, you'll notice that I've got some, some of the ends of these are pretty rough. You know, I, I want that, I want that round look up at the top, so up the top at the bottom of these slots. So I'm actually gonna take a drill bit. Uh, I think it's probably gonna be a half inch drill bit. And I'm gonna go up in there and I'm gonna grind those out with the drill bit. And that should smooth it out and give it the look I'm going for. Thank you. 
Is it perfect? No, but I'll tell you, when it's painted and the bed liner's on there, you're not even gonna notice. But that's what we got. And I just gotta make that, or rather, I gotta make that look like that. All right, so I got them clamped together. You can see right here. Now, some of you perfectionists are probably saying, yeah, they don't look exactly even or not. They're completely custom made by this experienced guy. But I think that this is gonna be close enough to where you'll never even know, but I'm just gonna trace these slots and then go from there. All right, it might look like a kindergartner traced these, but this is what I got. Okay, drilling, cutting, and then we're gonna get these, the, the um, base holes screwed into here, or drilled into there. That's what's next. So, those who know, know, but those who don't know, I'm working my way up the bits until I get to this big guy right here. So yeah, it, it's for me it's much easier, and I probably saw this on YouTube, but I just progressively work my way up bigger and bigger, and it just makes it much easier to maintain the hole where you wanted it. And then it, I think it's easier on your drill bits too, because they're doing just a little bit as opposed to a full drill. So. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to work my way all the way up to this guy. Not this guy, this guy. Oh, and by the way, when I say I'm working my way up the drill bits, I'm not going every single drill bit. I started with this one, I skipped, and then I skipped to all the way to this one, and now I'm going to skip here, and I'll probably go here, here, and then I'll, and then when I get to these, I go every single one. Just to clarify. guys well the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the wings bolted in place on the skid plate so if you notice here I don't know if you can see that black mark right there last time I had it all set up underneath the trunk I made those black marks so I'd know exactly where the front and the back of this was gonna be so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drill the first one and I'm gonna get it bolted in that's going to make sure that everything is exactly lined up where I want it to be. And then I'm going to, and then I'm going to drill and bolt this one. And then the last one is the middle one. That way, I think my chances of misaligning holes is going to be a lot less. So that's what we're doing next. Drilling and bolting. this will be black and it'll have washers too I suppose I should have put the washers on it's all right so now I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do the back one uh, this one and then once that's all in then I'll do the middle one that way I know that nothing's gonna be shifted and it's gonna be exactly where I want it to be it'll be how it is period
perfectly centered. All right, guys, three bolts in. That's what it looks like. There we go. Okay. I just got to drill the skid plate for the other side, get that one bolted in. And then I've got to figure out what cuts I'm going to make in the main skid plate. Or do I make any? I don't know, we'll see. Kind of looks cool when it's just solid, but I know it, it would be good to do some cuts in there. So I don't know, man, I haven't given a 100% decision on it yet. We'll see. raw form. Forget the mess on top, but yeah, you get it. It's coming together. All right, guys, I've come up with a design I'm going to cut into the skid plate. It's going to be along the lines of uh, kind of kind of keeping the theme of the bumper, you know, so it has that uniform look. Um, here's a method of my madness here, and I know this looks super confusing, but anything with squiggly lines is not getting cut, okay? That's not getting cut. None of this is getting cut. None of this is getting cut. So I've got four cutouts on the very top. And then down here, it goes down to two cutouts. I wanted these to be offset from those. So what I did was I picked the center point of the part that's not getting cut out. That is going to be the exact center point of the bottom two holes, if that makes sense. That will perfectly offset them from the top ones. And so we'll have a grand total of six cutouts in there. And these are five inches down four inches wide um the bumper is three by three and a half so kind of keeps that that same symmetrical look if you will um i hope it turns out and i hope that these aren't going to be too big i don't think that they will this is a lot of surface area and i'm going to go ahead and get cutting on this i'm going to uh I'm going to drill holes in all four corners of each of the cutouts and then use my um, use my uh, grinder with cutting wheel basically like I did with these and after that we're going to throw it up under the truck it might be tomorrow we're going to put it up under the truck look at everything see if there's anything that I'm missing if everything looks good then we're gonna drop it down and I'm going to prep this for, for paint and bed coating. So we should be hopefully on the downhill side of this project. So anyway, time to get drilling and cutting again. Turned out pretty good. 
Here we go. All right, I'm gonna pull the truck in and put it up in there and see how it goes. so important that I have these, these side pieces feel you know, detachable. So I'm going to have to detach them. Like that. It's just how we drew it up, isn't it? Alright. There we go. So a couple things I don't like that I wish I could take back. Well, one of them I can fix, but the cutouts are too big. You know, I, I think I will, I will paint back there with some, uh, some of the black paint. And then I won't be able to see some of them. Maybe it won't bother me. I won't be able to see, but I can see stuff through there. And it is what it is. Um, it's still gonna turn out great after I get it painted. Maybe I'll change my mind. And then the other thing is, see that bolt sticking down? I just added a locking washer and a regular washer and it's, and it's dropped it down too low for my liking because when I put it in there without that, it was much more low profile and you couldn't really even see it. And so I'll probably just go with some blue um, Loctite when I put that up in there and, and not do the locking washer and other than that i'm going to pull this thing down and i'm going to get it painted Put a light coat of primer on. All right, I've done three coats of primer and now I'm gonna go ahead and lay the uh, truck bed liner on here. I'll do two coats of that, maybe three flip it over and then I'll do the three coats of primer, two or three coats of the uh, truck bed liner on the other side. All right guys, we're gonna call it a day. I just put the last coat of uh, the bed coating on there. Let's go take a look. There you go. All right, I'm gonna bring it in. We're gonna let it dry overnight. When I get home from work tomorrow, I'm gonna install it on there and that should be a wrap. All right, that's it. Fabrication's done, installation's done. What do y'all think?
Well, you know what that means. The only thing left to do is to get unnecessary drone footage. Well guys, that's a wrap on another video. Uh, this was the front skid plate build. I don't know, I, I, I have mixed feelings on how it turned out. Um, part of me wishes that I would have just kept it solid. Part of me thinks that it ties in really well with the bumper design. I mean, I'm not gonna rock crawl in this. This is gonna be on four service roads and if I'm on a class five, I made a wrong turn. <laughs> this will be good up to class four. I've done them before. Um, just a little extra protection. And then really, I didn't like the way that it looked without a skid plate. So, yeah. Hope you liked the video. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like, comment, all that good stuff. If you got some good tips for me, tell me in the comments because... Like I told you before, I don't know what I'm doing. That's why it takes me so long to get through these because I make mistakes along the way and I'm learning and I'm measuring wrong and I got to go back and change it and all that stuff. So anyway, that's it. We'll see you out on the road.